On the road from recession to recovery, two new signs suggest the economy is on the right course. The first showed consumer spending surging last month. Americans spent more in almost all categories, with the strongest gains coming in cars and trucks, clothing and furniture. The consumer has, has certainly, quote unquote, turned the corner. And as Dan Greenhouse points out, the consumer drives 70 percent of the U.S. economy. At least for the immediate term, there's reasons to be uh, enthusiastic. The other encouraging road sign came from the banking sector. J.P. Morgan Chase reported a 55 percent jump in income over the past three months, and its CEO, Jamie Dimon, was notably upbeat. This could be the makings of a good recovery, he said. The president was more cautious. What we're seeing, I think, is uh, some significant improvement in the economy and stabilization. One sector that hasn't turned the corner yet, housing. Foreclosures are expected to hit an all-time high in a key report out tomorrow. Housing is still a drag and a threat to the economic recovery. And the problem has spread far beyond subprime. This is a high, high dollar area, yeah. The for sale signs are discreet in Joe Lerner's neighborhood in Ponte Vedra, Florida, but many of these mansions are being offered at fire sale prices. This house, he says, once worth $5 million, was recently auctioned for half that. We didn't want to leave this way, that's for sure. June Terry and husband Joe, both interior decorators, built what they thought was their dream house here. The exact opposite has come about. So we're in a pickle right now. After their decorating business dried up in the recession, they're faced with selling their house at a nearly million dollar loss or going into foreclosure on their mortgage. Not only does it make sense not to pay it, but uh, it's gotten to the point where we don't have it. Across the country, upwards of four million homeowners face similar situations. The recession may be over, but the foreclosure crisis is only just peaking. Katie. And Anthony, with all this bad mortgage news to come, why should anybody have real faith in the strength of this recovery? It's a good question, but I'm hearing this from CEOs now. When you look at the consumer spending numbers we saw today, they start to get the confidence to hire. Hiring goes up, foreclosures go down. That's how you get real momentum in this economy, Katie. That's what we hope will happen, mm -hmm. right? Anthony Mason, Anthony, thank you so much.